with the shears we're gonna clean the area around the nose and eyes uh, this is very popular for the black russians to make sure that uh, they can simply um, can live everyday routine life and it will be a little bit easier for them to handle the very very long hair which they have on their head uh, this is just a cleaning uh, for the small air hairs around um, it's not so dramatically important but i just do this for the dogs to make sure that they have better ability to see anything because we're still keeping the long hair even they already veterans and you can see this uh, you can do simply and safely with uh, just a regular shears whatever you have i prefer a butter cut because they're very soft and smooth on the same time you can do this with a clipper you can use um, blade number 10 as an example and just cut all those small hairs out or blade number seven or five you can even shave around the nose at the top what we're gonna do we're gonna measure the square which is usually it's a half size of the head of the dog if you're gonna measure from the bar bone located at the top of his head and nose divide by two and this is the square size you will need to do by length and uh, then you're going to do exactly the same space it, approximately this is going to be four by four five by five uh, centimeters box why we need this because we need to make sure the dog from this side will have a flat area and it will look like a box like a brick on the end this is how you're going to be able to see those black Russians look like and they made with uh, that square shaved. It's a, like everyday look for the black Russian. The same as you can see, uh, you uh, see that flat area at the top of the head. Yes, they do have a messy hair sometimes and uh, we do ponytails for the funny days like here you see the Santa Claus. Uh, on the parade, this is after washing him, he's uh, fully haired. Uh, this is the female with a very harsh coat, but still her top very flat. This is sometimes at home when you're gonna have um, you know a lot of things to do. You can put the ponytails as an example, and it's gonna um, keep them safe and they have open vision. As you can see, sometimes I do those braids and uh, ponytail with the braided ponytails. But at the show, you still have to put the hair down and keep that square and flat area at the top. Uh, it's gonna take you a little bit uh, time, maybe like 10 minutes or so, but then you'll use used to it and the dog will be always in a, that uh, flat boxy shape and a head. And this is how it is breed recognized easily by the by that uh, grooming and i use this as a model our male he's the seven years old makovi